Whether you're a teacher or a parent, you can follow our short series of five lesson plans on mindfulness for kids to teach them about the powerful habit of being in a mindful state. In this series, each lesson plan focuses on a specific aspect of mindfulness and includes activities and worksheets to practice the concept of the lesson. This is a progressive series on how to teach mindfulness to kids, and we recommend you follow the series in order as each lesson lays the foundation for the next lesson. In this second lesson, kids will learn about their senses by walking around with mindfulness. They will experience all of what is around them. This lesson involves taking a short walk outside. You may choose to select a specific walking route around your neighborhood or school. Prior to this lesson, kids should already be familiar with the topic of mindfulness, as well as using their five senses as an anchor for mindfulness practice. If not, go back to part one. You can find the link in the description. Begin the lesson with a discussion about mindfulness. Ask students to recall what they've already learned about practicing mindfulness and awareness. Explain that today, that they will be taking a mindfulness walk. Remind students that when practicing mindfulness, it can help to have an anchor, something to bring us back if we get distracted. Mindfulness anchors can be many different things, but today, it will be our five senses. Have students get ready to go for a short walk outside. Explain that in order to allow others to keep their awareness, it is important to stay quiet and listen to directions during the field trip. Remind students that even if their mind starts to wander, it's okay. That's why we have our anchors to bring us back to awareness. Tell students that for the first part of the walk, they should focus their awareness on what they can see. Challenge students to notice things that they may not have noticed before, even if they are familiar with the area. After a few minutes of walking and noticing, have students pause to discuss what they've noticed so far. Continue the walk. This time, ask students to focus their awareness on sound. What can they hear as they walk? Birds, cars, planes, people talking or laughing, wind blowing. Walk for a while, then pause and have students reflect silently or through discussion. For the remaining senses, smell, taste, and touch, you can have students stay seated for a few minutes as they notice each sense. What does the air around them smell like, taste like, and feel like? Is it humid or dry? Once again, have students reflect on what they notice about each sense. When they have reflected on all five senses, tell students that as they walk back to the classroom, they can choose one or two of their five senses to focus on for the remainder of the trip. After returning, have students discuss everything they notice during the mindfulness walk. You may choose to make a chart or list with each of the five senses and fill it in with the things that students noticed. Have students reflect on the activity and how practicing mindfulness outside felt to them. Mindfulness is a state of being that incorporates the three key elements, clarity, acceptance, and being present in the moment. Regular inclusion of this practice in kids' routine will have a profound effect on brain activity and lead to improvement in neuroplasticity. We hope you liked the second lesson. Watch the third video where we explore different breathing techniques to center your mind and bring into state of mindfulness. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, visit our website and subscribe to receive free storybooks, principal activity books, and lesson plans.